The third thing, I'm going to tell you about my most recent experience in the hiring space. I had an amazing virtual assistant. Um, we were in different time zones and I just really needed to have more support during my actual working hours. So I ventured out into the world of online hiring. Now, you know, I'm certified director of ops. I know how to hire. I know how to write out a job description. I know all of these things. My mission, my vision, my values, like all the things are there. So, what happened? I wound up with a few amazing candidates. I will admit that in the beginning, there were quite a few who did not make the mark. All right, because reading is fundamental and paying attention to those details is super helpful. So there were things that happened with like the first batch of 62, I think it was, that quickly dwindled down to 13. But in that 13, there were some really bright shining stars. And three in particular, I was excited about, okay? One, literally to me, and my husband, and my coach, like she was a step above the others. So long story short, I interview them, and I wound up with two, and I was like, okay, this is going to be interesting. Have them do their Colby. All right, so the Colby A, I did have them do that because it's super important for me, um, based on my own Colby numbers, um, my personal and then how I also need to show up as a CEO in my business, I knew I needed someone who had a high follow through, which is that second number. So I was like, okay, great. I kid you not. The two people, they were like 8723 and 8733. I was like, oh my goodness gracious. Like they are almost identical. So I'm super excited. Okay. Like this is great. You know, no one's like had a, I don't know, eight, three, two, three, you know? So I'm like, okay, pretty evenly matched. Like do that next interview too. And I'm like, all right, I'm still just so drawn to this one candidate, her energy, her research that she did on me, like all the things. So I extend the offer. She accepts. I'm super excited. I feel like I was catfished. <laughs> like, seriously. I feel like I was catfished. Um, it was insane. I have, I use ClickUp as my project management tool. I have a five-day onboarding process. Literally laid out in ClickUp. Because it's super important for me that you feel fully supported when you're coming onto my team. Okay, so it's so, 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 so valuable to me that there is like that smooth and easy transition. And I was like, yes, this is going to be great. First couple of days were not great. So, so bad that I was literally like, oh my goodness gracious, I am already ready to to not do this. Like, I need to just cut this loose right now. My coach was like, give her at least till the end of the week. And I'm just like, ugh. But you know how you get that gut? And your gut's like, this is not going to work. But I did. I kept moving forward. We had our next team meeting. And within five minutes, she's telling me that she's about to travel. I'm like, we haven't done the work <laughs> that was supposed to be done for the last couple of days. And I was under the impression, the way the story was relayed to me, that the travel was going to be like a day or so. It was about four. And there was like communication of I'll get things done by a certain time. That time would come and go. The next day that time came and went as well. And the day after that, things still had not been completed. And... I was really wondering, like, what in the name of tarnation has happened here? 
what has gone on where this person who showed up so amazingly on the front end has completely done a 180. Like, seriously, who is this person now? So I let her go. And um, at that point, there was a lot of conversation around, give me another chance. It's like, technically, you've already had two. Um, but I think for me, it was so important that there's that consistent showing up. And that is not just to you get to that interview or you get that position. You need to keep that consistency up moving forward into that position. Um, so... Another thing I took away from that, though, is I do think that the role that I was hiring for was two roles in one. Um, And I came away with that from just my own analysis of what I was hiring for. Um, It wasn't reflection. It was not a reflection of the work that um, the new hire did or didn't do. It was just like, hey, this is just probably too much for one person. Um, So... I say that to say, don't beat yourself up. Because I've had to tell myself that. Don't beat yourself up over this kind of wrong hire. When you notice things are not um, progressing, and if you've put in um, safeguards, and you've given extensions, and kind of talked through things, and they still don't improve, if your gut's telling you to cut the cord, cut the cord. Cut the cord. It is better for you not to have support than for you to have what is basically the equivalent of not having support, but that you're paying for it. Um, Evaluate your position description. Look through it. Do you have two positions that are are rolled into one? Um, Are you asking too much? Kind of like what we talked about earlier. Are you asking too many tasks for the amount of money that's being paid? Um, Is there not really a clear indication of what success would look like for you or the person who you are looking to bring onto your team? I mean, and for myself, I actually worked out like key performance um, areas and, you know, had all of that. She signed it and everything. So, um, but you want to be sure that there's a way that when someone's reading that, that they're not feeling like, oh my goodness gracious, I'll never be able to complete things or I won't be able to live up to what that expectation is. Um, If you decide, and notice I said decide, because as a business owner, you get to do that. You get to decide whether you want to go through that hiring process again. Do you want to make changes to it? I highly recommend you making changes. So if you've done your evaluation and you're like, hey, you know what? that role was too many things, okay? I can actually pair some of these things out or maybe we start here and maybe this role grows into this. Um, You decide that, but make those tweaks so that once again, you're not practicing insanity by tossing the same exact job description out there, hoping, hoping, praying, wishing that you get someone different, all right? Um... And really, I I just, for me personally, just to kind of tell you what I wound up doing, I, uh, a colleague of mine has a social media person who's literally like 19. Um, So she lives, eats, breathes social. And I split what was like an admin and marketing kind of position into giving her the marketing social media aspects of it. And I am looking to work with someone on just the admin capacity. So you get to decide how you want to move forward with that role. Um, Because I do feel like I was hoodwinked and bamboozled, um, for lack of some other words. Um, But don't beat yourself up over it. You've, you made a decision, you made it based on the facts that you had available to you at that time. Um, you didn't know this person was going to go and become flaky. Um, so since you didn't know that, you can continue to move forward with now armed with that information. And maybe there's some other step that you add into your process as you move forward. 
So that's kind of what I've been seeing in this online space as it relates to kind of hiring woes. So we have some 90 day dates that are ending with separation. We have people who are voluntarily leaving positions um, without communication and in some cases seeking to niche down, but without real experience. And then there are those who show up one way for the beginning of the process until they get the position and then that showing up changes. So I'd love to hear what your experiences have been as it relates to hiring. Any tips that you'd love to share, definitely make sure to share them because this is like an ever, um, an ever going journey that we're all on. And we will pretty much, as long as our businesses are making money, we're going to be bringing other people onto our teams. And not every one of those is going to be a successful hire. So do not beat yourself up. Reevaluate what you're putting out there so that you might attract something different, especially if you're tossing it back out there again. And also don't forget to listen to your gut when things feel funky and you feel like, you know what, maybe I need to cut this cord, cut the cord. So thank you so much. And I look forward to hearing your tips. Bye.